Hello, I'm Woodbury Mayor Ann Burt. Welcome to my 2023 State of the City message. I'm going to tell you about some of the key accomplishments from 2022 and preview some of our priority activities for 2023 and beyond. Thank you for taking time to learn about the important things that are happening in our city. I hope it helps you feel more connected with our community. Let's get started. Every two years, the City Council selects strategic priorities that it feels deserves a special amount of analysis based on resident feedback collected through the Biennial Community Survey. Their strategic initiatives for the 2022 through 2024 cycle are related to water, environmental stewardship, and public safety. Here's a brief progress update on each item. The past three rounds of strategic initiatives have had at least some type of water focus. As many of you are already aware, the city is working with multiple state agencies in constructing a permanent water treatment plant to address per and polyfluoroalkyl substances in the groundwater aquifer. We are making long-term and strategic decisions regarding the future of our water quality and treatment, as well as the water system's financial stability. The permanent water treatment plant will be the largest public infrastructure project in the city's history and is expected to take approximately five years to design, construct, and complete. While construction is not yet started, several project-related activities are underway. A preliminary engineering report has been completed to determine pipeline alignment, water treatment plant layout and treatment selection, analysis of state-funded and non-funded infrastructure, and more. In addition, the city purchased property for the treatment facility south of Bailey Road and east of Radio Drive. Pipeline construction following completion of formal design may begin as early as the fall of 2023, with permanent water treatment plant construction beginning sometime in 2024. State-managed 3M settlement funds will cover the construction of the base treatment facility and the associated piping. City staff continues to work with the state to facilitate the release of funds so action can be taken as soon as possible on the overall effort. Meanwhile, as we work toward and implement construction of the permanent water treatment plant, a temporary treatment facility is treating water from six impacted wells. The city also is exploring added temporary treatment at up to three other well sites until the permanent water treatment facility is fully operational. In addition, two new water production wells are being constructed. One to make up for a well that was permanently removed from service due to PFAS contamination, and another to respond to anticipated and planned growth in the community. One well will be put into service by summer of 2023, and the second well by summer 2024. I assure you, providing permanent water treatment is a top priority for us, and we're doing everything we can to provide treatment of the water as quickly as possible. More information is available on our website. Another strategic priority is environmental stewardship. In 2021, the City Council directed staff to work with the Parks and Natural Resources Commission to evaluate the past 20 years of the city's leadership in addressing sustainability and environmental issues. Staff created an inventory of key accomplishments, events, projects, activities, programs, and policies, and applied it to a timeline. The results showed that the city has made remarkable progress in preserving and enhancing the natural environment over the past 20 years. However, a city-approved plan supporting sustainability and resilience into the future remains absent. Staff began having conversations with community members and the PNRC and found there to be significant community enthusiasm for developing an environmental stewardship plan. This work will include a robust community engagement process with a practical approach to city-level environmental stewardship. The plan will develop specific, measurable, and realistic goals and provide a roadmap for implementation. Another strategic priority for us this year is related to public safety. While overall feelings of safety in our community have fluctuated on recent community surveys, the per capita data shows people and property crime rates in Woodbury have remained level. However, we recognize that the safety of the community and public safety services should be continually evaluated, adjusted, and enhanced to meet the changing needs and expectations of the public. That is why, for the next couple of years, we will focus on enhancing crime prevention and education efforts and increasing public safety connections with the community. We are starting to use more technology, like placing camera trailers in strategic areas to prevent crime and are exploring leveraging other new technologies to further assist with crime prevention beginning this year. We've also added new crime prevention programs like distributing catalytic converter theft prevention kits. Throughout the year, our public safety department has evolved in a proactive and forward-thinking manner 
while providing exceptional public safety services to our community. I am confident our work on this initiative will yield similar results. That's the summary of our strategic initiatives. Now let's turn our attention to the state of the city for specific functions. Following the retirements of a few of our long-serving leaders in public safety, including former Public Safety Director Lee Vague, we promoted a new group of strong leaders from within the department to take over the reins. This includes new Public Safety Director Jason Posel and new Police Chief Omar Maglid. We recently also experienced leadership change in the Emergency Medical Services, or EMS, Fire Division. In 2021, Chris Klein was promoted to EMS Fire Chief. One of his priorities is transitioning EMS fire services from a paid on-call, full-time employee structure to a part-time, full-time staffing model. The new model improves staffing coverage available to respond to EMS and fire calls. It also ensures that we have the appropriately trained staff members to respond to fire, rescue, and hazardous materials incidents and consistently meet call demand. Now let's talk about why so many of us chose to live in Woodbury. Our extensive parks and trail system, recreational amenities, and recreation programs. Despite a slow start in April due to weather conditions, Eagle Valley Golf Course recorded more than 42,000 rounds of golf and set a record for the first T youth lesson participants last season. Our indoor M Health Fairview Sports Center continues to generate increased demand from our community partners. Consider coming in from one of the facility's open programs like walking or ice skating, or enjoy the ice skating show or catch a local soccer or hockey game. The city is planning to enhance Central Park, another popular indoor gathering space that opened in 2002. Upgrades are needed at this facility to better serve the growing community and region and its changing demographics. The city of Woodbury, along with facility partners, is planning in addition and many improvements to Central Park and Lookout Ridge Indoor Playground. The multi-use indoor facility provides important gathering space for linking resources and people from all around the East Metro. The city is seeking $15 million in state of Minnesota bonding to support a portion of the improvements. Project information and opportunities for involvement are available on the city's website. We've also been busy building new parks, including new parks in Highcroft, Bridlewood Farms, Arbor Ridge, and Briarcroft neighborhoods. In addition, existing playgrounds were replaced in Marsh Creek and Brookview Parks. Shawnee Park also received significant improvements and a new replacement playground. A planning study is also underway to identify and prioritize potential future improvements for Law Lake Park. This year, we look forward to completing new parks in Canvas North and Copper Hills neighborhoods and other priority projects in Turnberry, Colby Lake, Pondview, and Westview Parks. More information and timelines can be found online. If you haven't already, I encourage you to participate in a recreation program, adult league, or a special event, or check out a free performance in the park. Each year we add new programs, including the community garden pilot program we added last year. It was such a success in 2022 that we are expanding the space to accommodate more gardeners in 2023. Learn more about the community garden and other recreation opportunities at woodburyrecreation.com or by following us on social media. Moving along, when it comes to new residential and commercial development, carefully managed and planned growth is a fundamental part of the history and the future of Woodbury. From its early days as a city, Woodbury officials anticipated full development of the community and implemented long-term planning strategies that have allowed the city to prudently manage growth over time. While there is a lot of development happening in Woodbury, this is not new or unexpected. The city's 2040 comprehensive plan provides a blueprint for how the city would develop and the growth that is occurring is implementing the city's adopted vision. The city saw several new residential developments begin construction throughout the community. These projects deliver on the city's commitment to providing a diversity of housing types to accommodate people of all ages, income levels, and family status. Woodbury also experienced significant commercial development activity in 2022. Building permits were issued for seven new commercial buildings totaling more than 1.1 million square feet of space which will grow the city's tax base and add job opportunities within the community. I want to take a moment to highlight the commercial development activity occurring in the Northeast area of Woodbury. Last year, I talked about the bookends for the Northeast area, Kendeva and Amazon, as being important first steps toward implementing the economic vision outlined in the 2040 Comprehensive Plan for this area. Well, to continue the metaphor, 
we have begun to fill in the bookcase with four new industrial buildings under construction, which total more than 1 million square feet. I encourage you to take a look at the city's development map on its website if you have questions about the new developments you see happening in Woodbury. Speaking of new development and construction, let's talk about some significant investments in our transportation and roadway infrastructure. Construction of the Gold Line Bus Rapid Transit Project began in fall 2022 with utility relocations along Bielenberg Drive. Construction is planned to continue through 2024 and the line is expected to be operational in 2025. Construction in 2023 will include multiple phases of lane shifts and temporary closures along Bielenberg Drive, along with Tamarack Road and Hudson Road intersections. The Metro Gold Line is a planned 10-mile dedicated bus rapid transit line that will connect St. Paul and Woodbury. The Gold Line will operate primarily as a bus-only lane and enter Woodbury via a new bridge over I-94. The 2023 Roadway Rehabilitation Project, located in the Royal Oaks neighborhood, is scheduled for construction in the 2023 and 2024 construction seasons. Work generally includes extensive repairs to the sanitary sewer, water main, storm sewer, and roadway infrastructure. New trail connections are planned along Courtley Road, Queens Drive, and Acton Road, and a new sidewalk connection planned along Montrose Road. Also, road construction will continue on I-94 between Century Avenue and the St. Croix River this year. Work includes constructing a new eastbound lane from I-494 to Woodbury Drive. Significant traffic impacts are expected with lane, ramp, and interchange and road closures. Keep updated by visiting MDOT's project website. Next, I'd like to share a little bit about how we conduct our business in the city. I'm honored to serve with a group of council members who work together to conduct the business of the city. Our role as a city council in Woodbury is focused on policy and oversight, not the day-to-day -day operations. Each council member and I have part-time roles. We balance our professional careers while doing our best to serve our community. We don't always do this work alone, but we sometimes seek ways to involve the community in key decisions about city operations, policies, and projects. Over the last year, city staff worked with third-party consultants to bring together a diverse group of community members and staff to begin developing a community engagement resource guide for how to deliver equitable community engagement. As the city continues to grow and become more diverse, Fostering an inclusive and welcoming community is paramount to our continued success. Throughout the guide, there is an emphasis on the importance of engaging through an equity lens so that we can ensure we are hearing from diverse perspectives and being intentional with our outreach when decisions are before the City Council. City staff and Council aim to be more planful, consistent, and inclusive when engaging with our community. We hope that this will lead to increased involvement from our community members. Now let's take a quick broad look at the city's 2023 budget and costs for city services. City taxes on a residential home valued at $419,000, which is the median value for taxes payable in 2023, increased an estimated $82 for the year. This is for the city portion of your tax bill, which is about 25% of the total bill. About 51% of your property tax bill goes to your school district, 21% to Washington County, and the remaining 3% goes to other taxing districts. Most of your city tax money goes to maintaining streets, parks, trails, and providing public safety. The estimated monthly cost to provide city services to residents in 2023 is approximately $101.75 per household. That's a pretty good value, especially when you compare that to your monthly smartphone or your cable TV bill. We are also increasing some fees for 2023 to help cover costs. The Water and Sewer Utility Fund is primarily being challenged by an increase in infrastructure replacement activity. Some of you are noticing these changes on your first quarterly bill of the year. You can view these changes on our website. Finally, there are a lot of ways that residents and businesses can stay connected with the City of Woodbury. You can visit our website, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or Nextdoor. You can also sign up for our InTouch email notification service. Our Woodbury City Update newsletter is mailed to all businesses and households 10 times per year, and our recreation brochure is mailed out three times per year. And lastly, you can watch City Council and Commission meetings, as well as other programming at swctc.org and our City YouTube channel. Meetings can also be viewed on SWCTC channel 16, 
and additional programming is available on Channel 18 or High Def Channel 859. That wraps up this year's video. Thank you for being engaged in your community and watching this year's update. I'm excited to see you soon.